We hinder our own success, plain and simply put, because of the simple fact that sometimes we're prideful. And then a lot of us are a lot further than we think we are, which I think is great because we're wanting more. We're striving for more. We're desiring to achieve and serve. And we're in a place to where we're seeking more. But then at the same time, it can be an Achilles heel to be so prideful and feel that you're further than you think. You're like, oh, no, nah, I'm I'm better than that. No, nah, I don't I don't do that no more. And when you get to that place, that's when it becomes a problem. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors? And welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today we're coming at you with another Monday motivation. That's right, y'all. So today, we're just going to take a moment and reflect on this past weekend, right? I had the opportunity to be the guest speaker for the Manny Melanin Festival, and it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Shout out to For the Culture Studios. Um, Shout out to Victoria. Uh, shout out to T, all the ladies that really invested and really served and really put this event together to make it an amazing event. Uh, there was a lot of vendors out there, a lot of people getting to connect, getting to talk, getting to build. And today I want to just share just a little bit of the message that I shared there, but I'm going to shift it a little bit. But I want us to learn to focus on maximizing the opportunity. Right. Two years or so ago, I had a speaking coach and we worked together, speaking business coach. And from there, he would talk about the importance of leveraging free speaking gigs. He'd be like, y'all, it's OK to do free, but it's just about how you leverage that engagement. What do you do from that to make it worth your time, to make it worth your while? And, and y'all, before I was I was in a stage where I was like, I'm not speaking for free no more. I don't speak for free. That's never going to happen again. But the craziest thing is when you begin to open yourself up to some other opportunities and you don't close the door just as quick. Now you're realizing, wow, well, I could make more relationships by doing things this way. I can increase my exposure by doing things this way. While at the same time, we all have a gift and we all have the ability to impact another individual's life in one way, shape or form. At the same time, you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to impact another person's life. So today I want to just encourage somebody out there who's saying, John, I had a great opportunity. But yet I turned it down because they weren't paying me what I wanted to be paid. But, John, I had a great opportunity. However, it's across town and I don't feel like driving. But, John, I know that I have a gift. I know that I'm talented. I know that I can do great things. But at the same time, I know they're doing great work at this event, but still, nah. John, I I just don't like some people that's going to be there. Sometimes we hinder our own success. We hinder our own success, plain and simply put, because of the simple fact that sometimes we're prideful. And then a lot of us are a lot further than we think we are, which I think is great because we're wanting more. We're striving for more. We're desiring to achieve and serve. And we're in a place to where we're seeking more. But then at the same time, it can be an Achilles heel to be so prideful and feel that you're further than you think. You're like, oh, no, nah, I'm I'm better than that. No, nah, I don't I don't do that no more. And when you get to that place, that's when it becomes a problem. And that's when we begin to think that we're above those certain people who are our colleagues, who are our partners, who are in our same cohort, who are in our same sphere of influence. And then we start to feel we're high and mighty and we start to push them down. 
And then we look up and realize that nobody wants to work with us. Nobody uh, is trying to be a part of what we're doing. And nobody is trying to contribute to our success. It's all because we were selfish. So today, I want you to learn and see how you can expand your opportunity. And what does that look like? Maximizing every relationship that you make. Every connection that you meet. One thing I love to do when people stop by the book table, I shake their hand from behind the table, but then I always come around. So I'm here with them face to face, heart to heart. We're talking, we're connecting, we're building. Because I don't want there to be any separating dividers between me and that person. I want to be able to have that connection. I want to be able to listen and be fully present with that person. At that point in time when you're at my book table or if we've ever had an encounter or anything like that, I give you my full undivided attention. At that point, nobody else matters. Period. Because I seek to maximize every connection and every relationship. Intentionally focusing on relationships in 2020. That right there is what I'm on, my friends. But, hey, we're about to go ahead and get out of here. Just want to let you guys know we have some merch. We have the cream, speak your success, tease. We have the Olive, Speak Your Success, Tease. We have a few left um, based on this weekend. We, we showed up, we showed out, we, we sold some books, we sold some teas. So we're grateful for everybody who took the time to invest in the brand, invest in the business. But most importantly, investing in themselves just by copping a t-shirt, copping a book. Uh, if, if you'd be interested in uh, getting your copy, your autographed copy of the book, you can go to Jonathan Jones Speaks forward slash products. Or if you'd like to get your own tea, Jonathan Jones speaks for slash products. But thank you all for everything. And I'd encourage you, if this has been beneficial to you, hit that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube or subscribe to wherever you stream your podcast. We would appreciate it. That always means the world to us. And if you really feel bold, feel free to leave a helpful review. Five stars, we hope. And let us know how we can continue to improve and let us know what you want to hear and how we can add value to you. TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?